spokesperson Kevin Saffold back in the news again, this time for not attending his arraignment hearing for exploiting the elderly back in 2018. An elderly woman in Dothan. Courtney Chandler spoke with Mr. Saffold this afternoon about the new charges. Courtney's live downtown tonight. Courtney, what did Saffold say today? Ben Saffold was supposed to be in court on Tuesday, right behind me at the Houston County Courthouse, but he wasn't there. The reason why is because he thought he was supposed to be in court on Wednesday instead. And just basically slipped my mind as far as my court date. Things happen. Community spokesman Kevin Saffold said it was never his intentions to miss his arraignment hearing for charges of financially exploiting an elderly woman on Tuesday. Saffold thought the hearing was scheduled for Wednesday. Immediately, he turned himself in to law enforcement and was held in the Houston County Jail for 12 hours Thursday until he was bonded out at $250,000. He's still proclaiming his innocence and says he looks forward to his day in court. There was no money exchange. Nobody gave me any money. This was money that I took out of my own account and paid for the down payment on these cars, paid the insurance, paid the tags, and everything that I've done so far has been legal and has been transparent. I put the cars on the table. So there's nothing for me to hide about it. And there, at no time would I feel any fear about going to court. That's something I look forward to doing. Although short, Saffold described his time incarcerated as a humbling experience. Those who have family members and loved ones who find themselves in a situation, don't condemn them and turn your back on them. The jailhouse is filled with people. It's filled to the capacity where they're laying on the floor. You know, they don't even have mattresses for these people. So if you have a family member that go through something, support them. If you love them, support them and show them you love them by, you know, being there for them and helping them get out on bond and, and let, them, in other words, let them correct themselves. And Ben, I asked Saffold, will he be representing himself at his next hearing like he did last time? And he said he definitely would be representing himself instead of hiring an attorney. Reporting live here in downtown Dothan, Courtney Chandler, WDHN News 18. All right, that's the case we'll follow. A suspect.